Spermardine is another of those rare supplements that really excites me. The research behind it is rock solid, and it's currently part of my own daily life extension stack. And let me assure you that no supplement makes it that far without first satisfying a pretty comprehensive list of requirements. Now, spermidine is classified as a polyamine, and it's found naturally in the body's cells, certain foods, and more recently in supplement form. It was actually first discovered way back in 1678 by a Dutch scientist who found the compound to be present in human semen. Now, polyamines can bind to many different types of molecules, and they support several processes, including cell growth, DNA stability, cell proliferation, and apoptosis. In the human body, both male and female, spermidine is a downstream result of several enzymatic reactions that begins with the amino acid arginine. As we age, we accumulate cellular damage, and this results in the various hallmarks of aging. Spermidine helps to counteract this damaging process by stimulating autophagy through the TOR pathway, thereby breaking down waste within the body's cells and recycling cellular components. In essence, the process of autophagy decreases inflammation and oxidative stress, two of the main culprits involved in aging and its related diseases. And with cancer currently the second leading cause of death in humans, studies indicating that increased spermidine intake can reduce cancer mortality rates simply cannot be ignored. Unfortunately, natural body concentrations of spermidine decline in an age-related manner, and this undoubtedly is one contributing factor to the onset of age-related diseases, with a direct link to the resulting decrease in autophagy. Now, an interesting exception to this decline are healthy centenarians, who remarkably retain blood concentrations of spermidine similar to that of middle-aged individuals. Now, this is pretty convincing proof of spermidine's importance with regard to longevity. But spermidine's function is not solely limited to autophagy. It can provide many other anti-aging and health benefits. So we're not only going to be discussing autophagy, we're also going to be taking a look at all those other benefits. But before moving on, I'll quickly mention some common foods that are naturally high in spermidine. These include wheat germ, soya beans, green peas, pears, mushrooms, red beans, broccoli, cauliflower, and mature cheeses. The process of autophagy is the primary pathway by which spermidine exerts its longevity promoting effects on the body. So it makes sense that we first clarify exactly what takes place during this process. Autophagy is in effect a form of cell renewal, where the destruction of damaged or redundant cellular components takes place. Spermidine induces autophagy through the inhibition of several acetyltransferases, including EP300, which is known to be one of the main negative regulators of autophagy. Now, to give you an idea of the spermidine's potency in this regard, it's recently been quantified to be the equal of that of rapamycin. Rapamycin, of course, is the much-studied FDA-approved immunosuppressant with powerful autophagy-stimulating properties. Back in 1997, scientists first discovered the importance of polyamines with regard to hair follicle function and growth. In vitro studies show that spermidine consistently grows hair follicles, and that it also possesses significant anti-inflammatory properties, directly benefiting inflammation-driven scalp diseases. But it wasn't until the results of a 2011 randomized double-blind study were published that we first had some concrete evidence of spermidine's efficacy in promoting hair growth. The study involved 100 healthy males who took either a placebo or a spermidine supplement every day for 90 days straight. Those taking the spermidine supplement experienced a significantly prolonged anagen growth phase of their normal hair growth cycle, while those taking the placebo experienced no benefits. I recently came across one very interesting study that links the anti-aging benefits of spermidine to improve skin quality. The study's scientists found that spermidine secretions from the streptococcus bacteria that live in human skin biome promotes the production of collagen, elastin and lipids in older skin cells. This directly improves skin structure and its barrier function, so we can at the very least theorize that the systemic benefits of spermidine supplementation are very likely to include a positive effect on the appearance of aging skin. The clinical characteristics of both healthy and obese individuals without diabetic conditions were collected from the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey. There was found to be a direct correlation between spermidine intake and the parameters associated with obesity. 
daily intake of spermidine was negatively correlated with BMI, waist circumference, and insulin resistance. It was therefore deduced that insufficient spermidine intake is likely one potential factor that contributes to the prevalence of obesity. Now, another function of spermidine involves the targeting of brown fat, which directly results in the burning of body fat stores in order to create heat. So the message is simple. Consume spermidine, burn fat. Spermidine inhibits multiple neurological pathologies, including neurodegeneration, memory loss, cognitive decline, and motor impairment. And these positive benefits can be directly attributed to spermidine's ability to induce autophagy. This in turn protects against neuronal cell damage by reducing neurotoxicity and neuroinflammation in the brain. And this has been confirmed by several recent studies, with spermidine having positive effects on memory performance in older adults who are experiencing neurological impairment. Now, a 2018 randomized controlled trial found that older adults between the age of 60 to 80 that were experiencing cognitive decline noticed significant improvements in memory performance after only three months of taking a daily spermidine supplement. A later 2020 study involving adults suffering from mild to moderate dementia found that oral supplementation with spermidine resulted in improved cognitive performance. The greatest improvement was experienced by those suffering from mild dementia, with an average improvement of 2.23 points in the mini mental state exam and 1.99 points in phonematic fluidity. Studies have consistently found that dietary spermidine protects against cardiovascular aging. In humans, high levels of spermidine are inversely related to the incidence of cardiovascular disease. And these results indicate that appropriate supplementation with spermidine may prevent the occurrence of cardiovascular diseases, including heart failure. The fact is that spermidine plays many important roles in several aspects of cardiovascular health. It can reverse arterial stiffness, restore arterial endothelial function, reduce lipid accumulation and the formation of plaques, and it benefits the supply of oxygen and nutrients to cardiocytes, thereby maintaining healthy cardiac function. So would I recommend taking a spermidine supplement? The answer to that question is a resounding yes. There appears to be little doubt at this point that spermidine is an extremely worthwhile addition to any serious anti-aging life extension stack. And from a cost of benefit perspective, it really is a no brainer. For those wishing to maximize the benefits of spermidine, study data currently indicates that ingesting around 15 milligrams daily in supplement form is a sensible number. And this figure allows for the fact that you'll likely be consuming additional spermidine from the consumption of a healthy diet. As we've already discussed, spermidine is a naturally occurring compound in the body, and it's also part of our natural diet. To date, no known negative side effects have yet been identified relating to spermidine supplementation, even at extremely high dosages. But of course, as with any supplement, if you do experience any issues, then cease taking it immediately and consult your doctor. There are several brands currently offering spermidine products. And as with all supplements, price, quality, and dosage per capsule can vary considerably. Now, normally in my video presentations, I like to recommend several products in order to satisfy varying budgets and dosage requirements that an individual may have. Unfortunately, I've been unable to do so this time. The spermidine content in the majority of products that I investigated was pathetically low less than one milligram in some cases. The only product that currently meets my requirements is from the supplement company, Do Not Age. Their pure spermidine product contains a whopping eight milligrams of spermidine per capsule. And unlike most other brands, it's also gluten-free. The company has very kindly provided viewers of this video with a 10% discount code, which is on screen now. And you'll also find a link in the video description below. Many thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this presentation, then please like and subscribe to the channel. You'll have my instant love and gratitude, plus you'll be notified of all future uploads. Take care, be healthy, and see you again soon.